Well, I think the Americans are certainly very ambitious, Beth, to, to do a deal as fast as possible. What we're saying to them is, yes, we want to go fast and mm -hmm. we share their optimism and their enthusiasm, but we want it to be a, a big and comprehensive free trade deal. So it's got to go beyond just trade in, uh, in goods, in, uh, in agriculture and all that kind of thing, because, you know, th those are quite limited. We don't want to see what you can do in when services. Do you think you can do it, we want to see what you can do, as I, as I was saying to the president earlier on in uh, shipping cabotage yes. and aviation sure. uh, cabotage. I can give you, to tell you one thing. If you're, if you're a, a British uh, architect or, a, or a, an insurance company, uh, you have unbelievable barriers to establishing in the, the U.S. in the way that an American architect or an American uh, lawyer sure. or whatever does not ha face uh, barriers in the U.K. So there's a huge amount of progress that needs to be made. But listen, the president is full of beans. He's very enthousia enthusiastic and, and, and so am I. So I, I think there's a And there's you've a good established a working group? We've established a working group and we're going to get on with it very fast. Within I just, the year? I just don't want, I, I know you're inviting me to, to set, a, set a deadline uh, of a year. don't want to do that. But, okay. but I, I have long experience of the Americans as trade negotiators. They are formidable okay. and we will get a great deal. We will get a great deal, but it, it, may, it may take some time. Mr Johnson, what viewers back home want to know, though, is where we are on Brexit. 68 yes. days to go. They're not sure where we're heading. Is no deal still a million to one chance? Look, uh, no deal, or deal depends entirely on our friends here, some of them here, our partners across the EU. And I think in the last few days, we've actually had quite a lot of success in landing some messages about what the UK... I get that can do and can't do. What I'm so, so uh, you know, if I'm, let's, be, let's be clear. I think at the moment uh, there's a, a reasonable chance that we'll get a deal. But in order to get that deal, to repeat my message, mm. we've got to prepare to come out with reasonable that. Reasonable chance is not million to one, though. Is it becoming more likely or less likely after your Merkel-Macron meetings? I think the you know, I'm, I'm an optimist. I think the chances of a deal are improving, but there's got to be a, a great deal of realism on the part of our friends that the withdrawal agreement is dead. Yes. The, the text that uh, Parliament rejected three times cannot now be made to, to go through. And I know people, are, people think, what's this all about? Fundamentally, the problem with that withdrawal agreement is that it would keep the UK locked in the EU's trading. Sure, I get trading. that, and you've no, discussed but, uh, that But I think viewers at home don't necessarily understand this. It would keep us locked in the EU's trading arrangements and in uh, the, 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 the lunar pull of sure. EU law you, uh, without being able to have a say on that. That's why it's totally unacceptable. I understand that, but did you tell President Macron and Angela Merkel that you were planning to withhold a, a, nearly 30 billion or 30 billion of the withdrawal divorce bill of 39 billion pounds? Did you tell them that you were going to withhold that money when you met them this week, or is that well, new I think, news? I think what the, uh, the entire community, what the entire European Union understands is that if we come out without a deal, then the 39 billion is not But did you tell not, them that? You, did you make that clear? And, well, that's been made clear Did you many, make that clear in the meetings? I, because I, it could I, affect whether they want to deal I, with I, you. I think uh, they understand that if, so forgive me, if there isn't a deal, then uh, the 39 billion is no longer legally pledged. And as I've said uh, many, many times, uh, we will therefore on the 1st of November have very substantial sums available from that 39 billion uh, to spend on supporting our, our farmers, okay, our uh, SMEs, moved, and indeed to, for investment we have in moved, all sorts of of areas that from uh, are important to our people. One chance of a no deal to now it being more likely. And for viewers at home, what they actually want to know is, can you promise them that there will not be medicine shortages, that there will not be food shortages in the days after October the 31st, okay. if there's no deal? Can you pr make that promise what I can, now? What I can tell people, and as, as I said a few weeks ago on the steps of, of Downing Street, uh, I think that we can get through this. I think this is a great, great country, the UK, and we can, we can easily cope with a no-deal scenario. And I know that that's what people 
want. But also, now, what I, what I also, to know, what I also will they said, have food shortages in said, their shops? I, I, frankly, I think it's highly unlikely that That's there will be food shortages That's not what they said in terms of the of Operation Yellowhammer well, papers. I, un I, I understand uh, that that paper was, was based on assumptions that were made before we'd really started accelerating our preparations. What so I, you can now said, say that we I, will not have food shortages what in the stores if you to, don't get a What deal. I also said to people is that there may be bumps on the road, but that we will get through them. And it's absolutely vital that we make the preparations now. And also and we do it, and we do it with, and we to do, people. And you're, you're hiding all the assessments. You're not no. being straight with people. Bumps not on, on the, the road. No. No, we've been very, very frank with people about what is uh, what they need, and there is a massive program of engagement uh, with businesses, large and small, uh, with the farming and what about community. Consumers? Are and, you going to advise and, them on medicines and, uh, and food? Uh, well, we are making every possible preparation, and I think that that is what the public would want us to do. I also think. That what the public I want think us the public to do. Might want what, you to be what they, about the I think what the public what might no want us Brexit to do is to lives. get ready for a no-deal Brexit for two reasons. The first is that that is the best way to ensure that we get the deal that I think uh, we we can get. But the other reason, obviously, is so that uh, if and when we are forced by the obduracy of our European friends to come out on October the 31st without a deal. Uh, that things are as smooth as they can possibly be. So I'm full of, of confidence about it. I do think that, you know, there's going to be uh, a lot of work still to be done before October the 31st, but a huge amount is, is being done, as you, as you know. The, uh, we are reaching out to uh, consumer groups, to businesses across the country the whole time. And when we come out, we will then have substantial opportunities that we haven't had before. Opportunities to do things differently in our economy. Opportunities to uh, cut taxes on cut taxes on investment. Opportunities to uh, regulate in a different way. Opportunities to do free trade deals around the world. But you don't want to be Mr. No-Deal, really, do you? And that, that is something I think we can all look forward to. The people who are going to be responsible for, for No Deal are, are, are not in the, in the UK. We don't no, want No Deal. It will be you it as well be, as the uh, EU. It be up to, it's up to you as it well. Will be up, but it's simply not possible for us to have an agreement that contains the, uh, the backstop in the way that I've described, keeps us locked in the EU arrangements in the way that I've described. That point, I think, has now landed with our friends, and what we're hoping is that um, they'll, they'll see a way forward.